What's good, y'all, man? It is your boy, Sniper Kicks, and I have a crazy, crazy video for you guys, man. I'm interviewing Marcus. Marcus, man, 40 years old, has three kids, works a full-time job at UPS, and he's crushing it reselling sneakers. Make sure you pay attention. Make sure you take some notes here. Also, I am having a free live training this Sunday, November 3rd, where I'm gonna show you guys how to actually make a full-time income, six figures reselling sneakers, and I'm gonna show you how to make money doing this while you are sleeping. Do not miss out, guys. It is gonna be a crazy, crazy, crazy live masterclass. Also, I will be giving away the Jordan 1 Low, Travis Scott, Medium Olive, and the Jordan 11 Legend Blue in your size. Hit the link in the description section. You do not wanna miss out. So hear this conversation with Marcus. It is incredible. It is a truly an inspiration. Oh, I'm good, how you doing? I'm doing good, man. You're crushing it, man. So uh, do you wanna ask you some questions? Because man, what you're doing, is inspiring just seeing your fast growth so you know a little bit of background on marcus marcus you know he's been working with me for two weeks has done four thousand dollars um in the past two weeks and i told him today you know correct me if i'm wrong i said you're gonna hit six figures if you continue to do what you're doing so oh, yeah. let me ask you some questions man because i'm bro two weeks four thousand dollars making four thousand dollars in two weeks is atypical most resellers yeah, sure. never ever hit that. But I want to I want you to tell people your background because again, you're a dad, you're you got a busy life, you got a full-time job. So give people your background, Marcus. I I, I would appreciate that. All right. Well uh yeah, right now I, I work at UPS. I've been at UPS for like I'm going on 20 years. Uh I got three kids, I got the wife, uh busy with them all day, every day. I go to work at 2 a.m. in the morning. I'm off around 1030. And, you know, that's just life. Got an hour till you pick them up. There's not much time in between. Uh, I I try to do things for myself, but it, that'll come in time. That's why I picked up the reselling. That, that was my main thing. So it can help me have time to do things I want to do with them. Or I want to do for myself or, you know, do have time, period. And that that's what really got me going to get into this. And before I even got with you, Nick, I, I had started and I wasn't I wasn't getting what I wanted. I was getting like two thousand a month. And just like you said, I went from two two G's a month to four K in two weeks. Wow. Like it, it's crazy. And that was just these two weeks working with you. And and making myself stay consistent and you telling me hey you need to update this hey have you gone and done that hey have you did this that that really that's one of the main things that helped help me is to be like you know what i need to i need to go do that he's right hey why haven't i done that yet all right i need to buckle down and really and really do it that's the main thing is just do it yeah that's great, Marcus. And again, you know, I want to see you have success. So that's why I'm on you a little bit. Hey, Marcus, let's update this sheet. Hey, Marcus. Hey, right. how are you getting this inventory? Because I want to see you succeed, man. Because like, at the end of the day, Marcus, $4,000 in two weeks, like, you know, it's atypical. And it's because you're having routines and you're being consistent. And you have a why. Like, you have children. You've been working at UPS for 20 years, and now you're like, man, I want to do something and have flexibility for my kids, and my kids see me doing something for myself, therefore I can grow and provide for them. That's a, that's inspiring. That's my story. My story is like I was a basketball trainer, broke as a joke, making $10 an hour. I was like, that's, this is enough. I need to do something once I had my first child. So it's just inspiring just seeing you in the progression and me seeing it firsthand because I'm seeing it firsthand what you're doing, and uh, that's that's great. So. For you, Marcus, you know, I want to you give the viewers a kind of a context, like with this 4,000 hours, like you've been selling a lot of sneakers in a fast rate and we're not even in November or December yet. So the money yeah. that you've been making these two weeks is going to go to the moon. So how many sneakers have you just sold in these past 14 days and two weeks? It's been a lot. So kind of give them like a, a number on that. Well, I did count it because we were just texting, but yeah, 20, 28. I sold 28 pairs in these two weeks. 
Wow. And just within the, the last, just this week alone, it was, yeah, 13 pairs. And we're up. It's Thursday. Wow. <laughs> wow. I still a couple Man. Of Man. I just sold another pair on Poison, like, I don't know, an hour ago. Hey, man, Marcus, yeah, that that's cool. And Marcus, there was an instance when you text me in the morning, and I want to give people, I want you to tell people the feeling that you have because you gave me like a a static. He was like, "Hey, sniper, I just made four hundred and fifty five bucks while oh, I'm yeah. just waking up." Can I give people like a feeling <laughs> and like, well, how does that like you're making you're literally making money while you're sleeping? So give people yeah. kind of like the context of that feeling and just waking up and there's money in your account. It's it's the best feeling ever. I, I there's nothing else to say to that. Like. And I wake up early, like it was me waking up at, I think it was like one thirty in the morning because I'm about to get ready for work. I woke up, yeah, you turn over, you hit your phone, I'm like, I did a couple scrolls, you know, to make sure it was, was oh, oh, I almost called into work. <laughs> we almost called it to us. Oh, man, man. I already made my money today. Uh. <laughs> that's it, it, it is really something it, it's it's the best feeling you you fall asleep you wake up and you you got money hit boom your days are already you already you're profitable now you can go on and all right i'm gonna go do this and go do that for today yeah. and and keep it going so you can make money that next day it, that's yeah. motivating in itself yeah it's having that you know kind of motivation it's like man what i'm doing is working and you know with you know, you markets, I can tell that your pace, your urgency, your belief is so high. It is ridiculous. Like Marcus is literally hitting me up. It's like, bro, I just made five sales today. Let's go. Let's reinvest. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. So what are the systems? Because again, your business is moving really rapid. Like it's ra there's rapid movement. But what are some of the systems that you have in play that allows your business to get to this level? Again, it's been a short period of time. It's only been two weeks. But like, what are the systems you have installed? Therefore, you can kind of progress every single day. Because again, you have a family, you have kids, you have a wife, you have a, a, a job that takes a lot of your time. What are the systems you have? Therefore, you can have so much success in this amount of time. Well, one of the things out of out of your school is the uh to hit the when you hit the outlets so have a route have a set routine so when i get out of work sometimes i get out earlier so i'll get out about 9 30 the store is open at 10 well there it is right there it yeah. takes me about 20 minutes to get to a store so i hop out i get in my car boom i'm like all right yeah i'm gonna hit this nike store i gotta go this way this way traffic's going like this all right cool by the time I get there, where I'm pulling up, it's 9.50. Boom, I'm out my car. I got my stuff. I'm ready. I'm setting up my account as I'm walking up to the store, my new account. Yeah. Boom. I'm, right when I get there, they're opening the door. Walk right in, hit the back wall. All right, there's nothing really solid. I start hitting up up and down the, the, the aisles to find the stuff that's already on sale. Plus, you got this, uh, another sale, 40% off. Cool, and I got my 15 in my head. All right, solid. I'm going to get 55% off of these shoes that are already on sale for 40%. Let's get it. Then I I see that. I'll hit all the big platforms real quick, see what I got. Lately, it's been StockX because I'm trying to level up. Mm -hmm. So I, I pop through. I'll see, okay, this one, ooh, the, there's the highest bid on that one is size 12. Done. Uh, there it is. That one's yeah. done. And I'll pick through. And if I find something I like, some Air Force Ones, the Hip Hop yeah. 50th Edition, crazy, crazy still on those. Oh my God, thirty three dollars each, and they're going for one hundred and twenty, one hundred and fifteen. Yeah, oh like four hundred percent ROI. Uh, I I had sold one. I sold one for a hundred. I got one hundred and twenty two back. That's two hundred and seventy one percent. Wow! I made the same face you just made when it sold. I was like, man, Are you kidding me? <laughs> bro you you like it's crazy marcus is just seeing your results in it and and again sneaker reselling it's so lucrative if you know what you're doing if you don't know what you're doing you're gonna hit yourself on the wall hit your head on the wall and not make money like you gotta know what you're doing so with yeah. this momentum of you having and 
I believe with every kind of, you know, every bone in my body that you're going to do six figures. You're going to do six figures. The pace you're moving, you are going to do six figures for sure, reselling sneakers. Absolutely. So like, what was really the, the, the shift for you, for you just, hey, making some money reselling, doing it as a hobby, but now having a bona fide business? What is the shift? Uh, I've tried other things before. You know, I'm an older guy. You know what I'm saying? I'm, almost, I'm about to be 40. I've tried clothing brands. I've tried all kinds of things to to have a side hustle or to have something that could replace my job that I'm at now. Uh, sneaker reselling, I love sneakers. It's like the rest of us, you know what I'm saying? This is my personal pairs, but when I, I noticed that other people were like me and they want to get shoes for cheaper, they just want to have get shoes too. So like the first couple of pairs I ever, I got to resale, it was a Jordan one Lowe's. And there was even a guy at work and he was like, we were talking about shoes one day and he was like, you resell? And I was like, yeah, yeah, I resell. And he's like, well, can you get Jordan ones? And I was like, bet all day. Jordan one Lowe's, what size are you? And he's told me what size, I said, man, I got you tomorrow. He's like, are you serious? I'm like, yeah, I, I'm serious. And once I really figured that, I was like, there's people like this all over the world. Absolutely. They don't have time. They don't have time to go find it. They they really, they don't want to get online and look. So they just, if you can be that, if I can be that person to be like, oh, you need what? I can handle that for you. I'll send it straight to you. I'll bring it to you. Yeah. And that that's what really got me into it was him saying, oh yeah, I'm size 11. If you can get this, let me know. Now that guy, he's one of my main in-persons. He yeah. tells me, and he's like, I just need one shoe a month. Done. That's a client, one, but repeat customer. You have a book of business. Yes. And I, I got a couple like that. I just need one one pair a month. Done. So I already know in the beginning of every month, but at the end of every month, I'm buying a shoe in their size that I know they like. And then I'm ready already starting the month off with those three sales. Boom. There's three people already done. So now I'm already knowing I'm getting this much back. I'm going to the, the Nike outlet. I'm going to spend this much. I'm trying to keep that consistency going to help myself, keep myself in the same mindset of, all right, let's go. Keep doing it. But the next thing I need to work on, to stay on, is hooking up my inventory every time I yeah I get, on top of get the shoes. That's yeah. the main thing for me is to keep the inventory up. Yeah. yeah. And here's the biggest thing, Marcus. And I love that you're talking about, you know, again, your processes, the Nike outlet. And I want you to talk about accountability because, again, I hold you accountable on things because, again, there's a point where I was like, hey, Mark, are you going to the Nike outlet? Oh, I'm, I might go next week. Hey, Marcus, are you going to the Nike outlet? Hey, what is that power behind accountability that allows you to get to that next level? Because, again, I stayed on you. I didn't let you slide. I kept hitting like, right. bro, are you going? And then you yeah. find it consistently going. And now you're you're it's it's only two weeks and your sales are going through the roof. So talk about accountability a little bit. Yeah, Th that's the thing that that helps the most is somebody being there to to stay on you when you fall off. That, that's what we all need in everything, not even just reselling. Right. I mean, even in sports, I used yeah. to, in basketball, I played basketball, too. I was a baller in my day. Yeah. Same as you. Holding people accountable. Hey, you get to get out there and run them, run them suicides today. You need to run them lines. You know, you get out there and go do some laps. But people want to just sit back and relax. Like, oh, I can dribble and I can shoot. But you need to have some win, boy. Yeah, you, get, <laughs> you, yeah, you got win. to. You know what I mean? So you got to stay consistent. And that's what you were doing for me. You, you were my, my coach to be like, hey, get up. You, you need to get back out there. Go. You need to get to the store. You going? Go. And it, and a few, I think it was the second time you asked me, and I, I think I said, uh, oh, I'm, I'm gonna go on Sunday, because I had something, something going on, and then I didn't go, and then I, in my head, I heard you say it again. I was like, he's about to text me again. I know he is, and I was, I just need to go do this. Yeah. I just need to go, and I went, and I, I picked up a bunch of stuff, and I sold them within less than 24 hours. I think it was, I think it was like six pairs. 
two of them went in less than 24 hours and the next couple of days the other sold once that hit i was like okay i gotta go back again yeah and that and you reminded me is what you know holding me accountable is what helped me to keep going back to the store and then once i saw the profit from it now that's even more motivation of like yep yeah, he was right i just gotta keep going yeah so that that's the main thing for me holding you holding me accountable and now me holding myself accountable to make sure that I stay consistent. Yeah, that's awesome. And now Mark is, you know, he's hitting me up. It's like, hey, you sniper, I got people that want Kobe's. And, you know, I was like, hold yeah. on, Mark, I got you. Let me, let me, let me make some plays and get you some Kobe's. Yeah. So it's, it's yeah. fun, man, when you, you see someone that has dreams and goals. Cause when Marcus talked to me, he's like, bro, like I want more for my family. And I told him like, bro, I can help you get all the things you want for your family. You just got to trust me. And you just yep. got to allow me to coach you. Therefore, you can get to the next level. And again, two weeks, already he's done 4,000. And again, he's going to do six figures for sure in, in sneaker reselling. But, you know, Marcus, I wanted you to leave people because there's people in a similar situation as you. There's people that are younger. There's people that are older, 40 with kids and all those different things. Like, what is your biggest advice um, for people actually having success in sneaker reselling because again your you your success in this rapid amount of time people don't see that in an entire year but what is some like some things you can give you know the people that are watching like bro this is what you need to do if you want to get to the next level and do the things and the whys you have for your family with sneaker reselling so i want you to kind of give some people some advice for you know new old if they tried it they didn't have success but give them some some game real quick on you know your your biggest advice to them well, my my biggest advice is definitely the the stay consistent. Once you start doing it, don't stop. That that a lot of people stop because you know I'm sure you've had this happen. You you bought a shoe and it dropped in value, but now you're you're sitting on this thing and you need to get it off. But you don't want to lose money. But sometimes you got to lose that money just to to get that money back and now go find something that's going to be profitable. And that, that's a, that almost made me stop before. Uh, I'll say that all honesty. I've had a, some pairs where I'm like, man, I'm about to lose $20 on this pair now because of whatever happened. Don't stop because of that. You get back on it. Now you, you get that money out. Now, instead of having that 68, you got 48. Well, now go to the Nike store or get on offer up, find somebody with something for the low, talk them down, whatever you got to do, and then sell that for double the price. And then just keep doubling and doubling and doubling. Consistency is the key. Consistency and accountability. These words, a lot of people take them for granted when you think about it, to being consistent. In anything in life, if you're consistent, you're you're gonna succeed. Like you really are. It's one of the easiest things to do. You know, keep it in your head that I gotta do this. I gotta keep doing that. That's the main thing. Consistent, and then communicate. You communicating to me. You know, hey, you're gonna go. You're gonna go. Get out there. Go. Hey, update this. It's communication. It's just like relationships. Just like you gotta communicate. When you got that that coach, that mentor, somebody who can stay in your head, get on that. And then that's communicating for you to be consistent and now hold yourself accountable. It's we can go round and round with that right there. But the main thing is stay consistent. Don't give up just because you had a loss. Everybody loses. So the Dodgers lost, but then they ended up winning the World Series. Mm -hmm. You got to keep going. That's that's just what it is. That's my main thing. Consistency. Yeah. Man, I appreciate you, Marcus, man. Again, you know, me being able to kind of coach you has been an inspiration for me just seeing your results. And again, all the things you got going in your life because again, you got, you got a, you got a job that's taxing, like you waking up way early in the morning, you having multiple kids, a wife and, you know, responsibility and the things that you're doing with sneaker reselling, it's an inspiration. So I hope everybody gets a lot out of this. I wanted to share this with you guys because I'm, sh I'm telling you guys, you know, if Marcus can do it, and the success that he's having, you can do it as well. Uh, but it's been inspiring me working with you and kind of helping you there. So Marcus, keep going, man. Just because you have some success up front, keep going. Right. 
Don't stop. Right. Don't stop. You said consistency. So you know, I'm looking forward to see what, you know, November, December, you know, comes is going to be a movie for you. It's going to be a movie in November, December, Q4. I appreciate well. that. Things go through the roof during holiday season. Uh, but man, appreciate you for, you know, kind of giving some advice to everybody's watching. And uh, like I said, let's keep moving, keep momentum flowing. Don't let it stop. All yeah, right, but, no. Man, appreciate you. I'm on it. I, th I appreciate you. Thank you. Again, right there. That's a huge inspiration. If Marcus can do it, you can do it as well. Again, guys, make sure you're at the free live training event where I teach you guys how to make six figures reselling. It is going to be phenomenal. A master class. Link is in the description section. Hope to see you there. Again, you'll be able to win the Travis Scott Jordan 1 Lowe's Olives and also the Jordan 11 Legend Blue. Let's go. You already know. Snapper kicks out. Peace. Thank you.